Hello traders, today we are going to look at more FTMO challenges and verifications. Right here, right now, in this video, we are going to look at three separate FTMO challenges and three verifications. This first account is for £10,000 and looking at this balance curve, there is nothing out of ordinary. Uh, this account was finished at 28 trades without any problem and the max daily loss and max loss are not an issue here and those are even the same numbers. And the profit target is nothing out of ordinary as I have already said. Uh, so. 28 trades using only 6.78 lots. So that's really low volume. Uh, the win rate here is 53%, but the average squared ratio is quite high. So generally, if you have average squared ratio over two, that's really good. Uh, in this case, this is way more than that. Uh, but of course it's on 28 trades. So it's somewhat skewed, but still pretty impressive. The trades and the volume is split somewhat nicely across all days. Uh, when you look at this daily summary, um, maybe with an exception of this day, because there were nine trades executed, but other than that, that's just fine. Uh, this is not even extreme or anything. On the last page of the training journal, we can see for the most part that uh, all of the positions are between 0.1 lot or 0.35 lot and all of them are on Forex. What is really nice here is that this trader is using stop losses all the time. Uh, well, there is an exception right here, but this is so low volume that it doesn't really matter. Down here, we can see really nice split between selling and buying. Uh, so this trader is profiting on both. And the single most profitable instrument here is British Pound and Japanese Yen, so GJ. There are some more profitable instruments right here, uh, but not as profitable as this one. And these feature British Pound as well. So there is that. This is very nice account. Uh, I will love to see more. Uh, this trader is probably now in verification, so I wish him the best of luck. This is the second FTMO challenge that we are going to look at. This is for $100,000 and the balance curve is more interesting. And I am saying this not because there are some huge spikes or some huge dips, but because the number of trades is quite high. So in total, this is 318 trades, and that's just a lot of trades for 30 day period. And of course, there is nothing wrong with that. Uh, maybe this trader is using EA or something like that, and that's not a problem here. Uh, now looking at the objectives, we can see that this is once again, finished in 11 trading days. Uh, the max daily loss was somewhat close to being breached, uh, but didn't quite get there. The max loss is not an issue here and the profit target is pretty standard. On those 318 trades, uh, this trader opened the volume of 404 lots, uh, which is, I guess, kind of average. The win rate is 64% and the average risk rate ratio is under one, which is not great but of course it works with this quite high win rate in the daily summary i can see for the most part green numbers so that's always nice to see very pleasant and the profit the lots and trades are split very nicely across all days so that's always good on the last page of the trading journal we can see a bunch of stuff there is gold there is silver there are forex pairs so this is not a specialist exactly there is even uh, some oil. But the two things that are immediately obvious here is that this trader is setting stop losses and take profits all the time. And also this is a pure day trader as far as I can see. This trader is profiting on selling and buying as well, uh, on selling even more so. And the single most profitable instrument here is gold actually. Otherwise the profits are split somewhat nicely uh, across the rest of the instruments. Uh, and there are few that maybe this trader could avoid and uh, he would have even more profits. So this one is really interesting. I have no idea if uh, this trader is executing all of these positions manually or via EA or something like that. Uh, but overall, pretty nice. When you compare this chart right here to this chart, uh, you can clearly see it's pretty obvious that uh, right here, not as many trades were executed, uh, which is not necessarily bad. Uh, but that's just the way it is. But overall, I would say that 45 trades is way more ordinary for 30 day period of the FTMO challenge. Now, this is for 80,000 euros. Looking at the objectives, uh, this was finished in 12 trading days. 
uh, max deal loss is not an issue and neither is max loss. As I have already said, 45 trades were executed using 37 lots. The win rate is really great, it's 80%, but unfortunately the average square to ratio is 0.95. So in this case, the high win rate really compensates for this relatively uh, under average risk square to ratio. Daily summary looks pretty good. Uh, there is just one significant day uh, that it was quite important for this trader, but other than that, it's just fine. And down here in the trading journal, we can see that most positions are under one lot. So that's quite low volume. Um, this trader is also not a day trader exactly, because some positions actually, uh, quite many positions are left open overnight. And once again, what I really like here is that this trader is setting stop losses and take profits all the time, basically. Once again, selling is more profitable than buying, but of course, both are profitable still. And the single most profitable instrument right here is gold again and perhaps if there is an instrument that this trader should avoid uh, maybe he can think about uh, letting british pound and canadian dollar go but of course this is not up to me this is up to the trader so this was another very interesting account i really like the win rate of 80 percent that's just outstanding so now finally let's look at verifications this first verification is for one hundred thousand dollars and the balance curve is very, very interesting. Now you might say that this is very risky and you know, it kind of is, but at the same time, it shows that this trader was really dedicated and really worked hard. Uh, and in the end, he got out of that. This verification ended after 12 trading days. The max daily loss is somewhat of an issue. And I assume that this happened right here in uh, this part of the trading period and the max loss is just fine and so is the profit target. This trader executed 125 trades using 130 lots and the win rate here is 53% or around 53% and the average squared ratio is 1.3. So you know if your win rate is above 50% and your average risk reward ratio is above one, uh, that's good. And in the long run, you are gonna be successful. And this is the case here. Uh, these numbers are not really super great, uh, but they will do and together uh, these will work in the long run. In the daily summary, we can see huge losses at the start of the trading period, uh, especially on the day number four. Uh, and from that point on, uh, this trader had to work hard to make up for those losses. So for example, this day was really significant for him or her. Uh, so yeah, in the trading journal, I can see basically just three instruments. So that is UK 100, Euro, Australian dollar and silver. Sometimes stop losses are set, sometimes not. So that's kind of random. And this is purely a day trader. Selling and buying are both profitable, uh, selling certainly more. And the single most profitable instrument is actually an index and that's DAX. And once more, we can see that this is not exactly a specialist. Uh, this trader actually trades a bunch of stuff. So there is that. So even though this trader got burned in the beginning of the trading period, uh, luckily he got out of that troublesome situation. So that's just outstanding. And we will be looking forward to seeing his or her progress on the FTMO account. The second verification is for $100,000 as well. And right away, you can see that this is not as dramatic as the last one. So even though this is not as dramatic as the last one, uh, there are some bumps that are not really that great. Uh, but basically from this point on, uh, the only way was up. This one was finished in 10 trading days. Uh, the max daily loss and max loss are not an issue here and the profit target was reached, even made 80 bucks more than he or she was required to. This trader executed 111 trades using actually huge volume of 1,559 lots. The win rate is 53% and the average squared ratio is 1.7. The most interesting thing here is, uh, of course, the volume. This trader opens like 15 lots per position, which is pretty high. And in the daily summary, we cannot really see as consistent volume usage as I would perhaps like, uh, but that's okay. In the end, it worked out just fine. And also for the most part, there are green numbers. So that's always great. Once again, this is definitely not a specialist because there are a bunch of instruments. This is not a day trader as well uh, because there are swaps being paid. And also the stop losses are not used all the times. So, there's not a clear pattern in this trading. 
Now, of course, because I don't see the pattern here, doesn't mean that there is none. Uh, perhaps the trading here is very organized. I am just not able to see it. Once more, selling is more profitable than buying, but both are still profitable. And the single most profitable instrument here is US dollar and Canadian dollar. Uh, and right after that is Euro and British pound. What is quite interesting though, is that the most losses are on crypto. So if this trader decided to not trade any crypto, uh, there would be even more profits. And basically this is it for this account. Uh, very interesting that uh, there is this high volume. Uh, so yeah, there is that. And we will see this trader on his or her FTMO account. This is the last account that we are gonna look at and this is even the largest one. So this is for $200,000. At the beginning of the trading period, this trader was doing really great. But unfortunately, after trade number three, it went down. Uh, but from this point on, this is the breaking point. Uh, it went just up and successfully finished. This trader took actually 17 trading days to finish this verification, uh, which is always nice to see uh, because we know that this trader is not in a rush. The max daily loss is not an issue here and neither is the max loss. And the profit target is finished with $500 more than he or she was required to make. This trader executed almost 70 trades using 136 slots. The win rate is 58% and the average risk rate ratio is 1.2. So this is pretty standard and the volume is split actually quite nicely across all days. Uh, so that's very consistent and this is what we really like. And down here in the trading journal, we can see just a bunch of instruments being traded. So this is not exactly a specialist probably. And stop losses and take profits are not set at all. And again, this is not a day trader. Uh, this trader is sometimes or quite often trading overnight. Again, selling is more profitable than buying, but buying is profitable as well. And the most profitable instrument here is Euro and US dollar. Clearly, this is not a specialist because bunch of stuff is being traded here. And if there is a single instrument that I would personally avoid, it's gold. But as always, that's up to the trader. And with that, this is the end of the video. So as always, traders, leave any feedback down in the comment section or any suggestion about what you want to see next. Uh, subscribe to our FTMO YouTube channel and follow FTMO on all social media. And as always, traders, trade safe.